This is, I don't know, I've never had that happen. That's why I wear a life jacket, I guess. River Rats, it's a full moon and it definitely feels like it. That uh, that log right there, I got pinned up sideways on it, tipped my kayak, or tilted my kayak and it just started filling with water immediately. I had to chase my bait tank and rods and reels down river and it was a mess, but I'm here. I got time for stuff to dry out and we got a ways to go, so let's go. Now that the now that the adventure has officially started, let's get going. On a positive note, that was in shallow water. My kayak was dirty; it's not anymore, so that's good. My main concern is is my thermosel going to work? Because I didn't bring bug spray, and they've kind of been bad. But I do have means of covering up if they are bad, and I could start a fire, assuming my lighter works. I don't know, there's a few question marks. We'll have to uh, get them answered when we get to camp. But yeah, it's full moon. And I usually don't do that well for flatheads on a full moon. I suppose I should look where I'm paddling after my last fiasco. There's plenty of wildlife. Deer, green herons, blue herons. <laughs> there's one right there. Doves, waterfowl, no turkeys yet, no catfish yet either, which uh, I don't, don't have anything to eat, so we're going to need to catch a channel cat, and I'm also hopeful that all my cooking stuff still functions after that soaking. It's an interesting trip so far. Now I am bottomed out, and this upstream wind kicked up out of nowhere, which is weird. I feel like there's a lot of forces trying to keep me from getting to this place where I want to go fishing. Maybe it's all in my head. We got here before dark. The unfortunate news I didn't realize is the front obviously just moved in. Not obvious, I guess. It's obvious to me because the wind switched out of the north and the temperature's dropping. Usually not a fan of that with catfishing, but I'm also not a fan of a full moon. We're just going to fish and find out. Ooh, there was a big something just moved under the kayak. It's probably what we wanted. Out cruising early. And I picked this spot for a reason. I haven't done very well on full moons, but when I have done well, usually it's been in deep water, and this is deep water. The other thing that makes me somewhat optimistic is if you get one on a full moon, it's usually a good one. We get baits in the water. I'm also gonna get the bonus bait right out. It'd be pretty tickled if a two pound channel cat decided to eat this. She could. Not saying he will. Definitely not saying he won't. Oh, these worms are soggy. Also, not a surprise. I'm airing my stuff out. It did get a little soggy because the dry bag was open. Good idea, Spencer. Okay. We get a big old bullhead on this dude. Come here, Mr. Bullhead. Where are you? 
He's in there somewhere. Oh, I just touched him. Got him. Had him. Got him. Got him. Prize bait in the bucket right there. Make me proud. Already making me proud, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna use a bigger sinker for you, dude. I want you to stay where I put you and not snag me. Oh, you kidding me. Keep racking them up. What else could go wrong? Lots of things. Wow, that wind is kicking up. Impressively. At least he's where I want him to be. That's funny because I've been like saving that bullhead for a while. <laughs> Did I just get hit? Wow, I'm pretty sure that's in somebody's mouth right now. That was quick. He's like not running away, he's like he's sitting still. Not even sure if he still has it. Yeah. There's still something there. There he is. <laughs> he doesn't feel particularly large. Dinner? That was, yeah, head shakes. I think it's the flathead variety. Oh. Yeah, he might be a little big for dinner. That was, that was fast. <laughs> Must have threw it right in his face. Oh, he's not hooked the greatest. Come here. Okay. Yeah, he's just skin hooked. I don't know what that means. He's not hooked great. Ow, 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 ow. Well, not everything went wrong. We got a little guy right off the bat. He would be a perfect eater, but the thing is I got to eat them all or let him go because I don't have a cooler to keep any. I don't know if I can eat all of that. Uh, so I'm going to let him go. Hope for a channel cat or flathead about half this size. Okay. Au revoir. Gonna splash? Nope. Let's do that again. I just realized I messed up. I should have put that flathead on a stringer and then uh, ate him for breakfast and then floated the rest of the way in and put the rest on ice as soon as I could. Would have definitely been able to make it back to my truck in time to uh, take care of it. You live and you learn. Sometimes you're hungry. Is that a channel cat bite? Which I'd usually be pretty disheartened about, but it'd be nice if he just finished the job so I could eat him. Or revisit this. And the bait rod produces. I don't think I'm going to use you for bait. But I am going to eat you. For that, I'm kind of excited. We'll put you on a stringer for now, though. And see if I can get another one just like him. And the bait rod provides again. Yeah, one more and we'll have a, actually a decent meal. I'm getting dizzy just watching him spin. Got the fish cleaned. Ended up... Just skinning that cat because he's so little. 
So I'm gonna soak them in some, ooh, I didn't realize how bloody that one is. I have to clean that one off a little bit more. What about the other filet? Looks all right. Better. Yeah, that's much better. Glad I brought tortillas. It'll fill me up a little bit more. Yeah, I just coated them a little hot sauce like I normally do. I'm gonna bread them and fry them up. The breading will add a little more sustenance as well. Need fire. That is fire. I think I'll even warm up my tortillas. Oddly, I'm not completely starving. I'll probably eat this, then be completely starving. Oh, my tortillas are all busted up. Not a substantial surprise after what I probably put them through. I'm gonna warm them up either way. Oh no, in the sand. We're definitely going places on the tortilla front. Got three down. And we add the oil, which reminds me, where's the oil at? Somewhere. Okay, I was worried that <laughs> it floated away. <laughs> we'll call that good. Things are burning. Oh no. Okay, get the grease in there. It's gonna be plenty of that. This fish should not take very long. Add the super secret ingredients. What did I even bring? Cajun. Sweet. It's not that secret. It's whisker seeker bread in. But it is pretty awesome. And it does take good fish and make it excellent. This is my new garbage sack. Oh, there's a little tortilla left in there. Gonna make a tortilla chip. Life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? Or in this case, tortilla chips. I think it's about to the point we can add some fish. Yep. Nothing like frying a bunch of stuff together. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't keep that flathead. That would have been not good. Would have wasted a ton of meat. This will get me by. I can eat a lot more. If you've watched very many of my videos, you know that. But I'm definitely not going to starve. It's been a while since I've had, like, the, what do they call that? The pan, like, the whole body catfish. I think I, we always called it pan frying them. Which I don't know if that's right, but... That's what we called it. All right, catfish going in. Might turn a few more into tortilla chips. That kind of sounds nice. I mean, the fryer's going, might as well. Fish and chips. Get it? Yeah, you got it. Let's try that one of them chips, that first one. Should be cold enough. Hmm. Definitely overcooked those. Well, pretty good. We'll leave this one not black. Yes, it's not black. They're like dark brown not bad though not bad at all I should fry more tortilla chips 
Yeah, that was a tortilla chips was a good idea. Okay, catfish is done. Chips are almost done. Food's almost ready. Sweet. Start with the tortilla and the fish. Mm. I know I'm starving and everything, but that's pretty wonderful. The old drum saves the day. Eat me a chip with it. Salsa would be sweet. Try this catfish straight off the bone. Hmm. That's good too. Maximizing meat. Yep, this uh, this will definitely tide me over till the morning. Now just time to wait on a big ugly fish. Hopefully see you soon. Say that was really odd. I don't know how well this thing is hooked. I don't know how big it is. It's not very big. Act like a small flathead maybe. That's exactly what it is. Come here. No, it's not. It's a chan. Big chan. Hey. It's a nice chan. I thought he was a small flathead for a minute when I saw him flipping around out there. But now he's a jerk channel. Just continuing to be a jerk about it. He's lucky he did not bite early. I say that to every fish that I let go that I contemplate eating, but I mean it. Okay. Still a jerk. See ya. All right. Peace out, dude. Three more bait and back to sleep. I think that's the right one. Feels big and gone. That's frustrating. Got him. Oh, he's right there. Oh, you're growing a little bit. Oh. <laughs> this is what I woke up to. You probably assume that by all the intelligent things I was saying and such. Oh, he's grown quite a bit. Oh yeah, you're nice. Not a lot of fighting yet, but he's skinny. Come here, full moon flathead. That hook removal was satisfying sounding. Alright, got me a dandy. He's pretty. 
how it's crazy how skinny he is to tell you the truth um, this is definitely his best side that's <laughs> not his best side like I don't want to just feed him something <laughs> easy yeah you hit it weird hit it slow and uh, didn't fight that much but he's a nice fish and I'm glad I got to meet him it's a good way to get woke up if I'm gonna get woke up this is my preferred way to get woke up okay back in the water you go and hopefully find something else to eat all right buddy see ya oh <laughs> that was the most fight i've seen saw it in the whole time now my socks are soaked You get cold last night. It's colder, even colder right now. And it's gonna rain a lot. Just cool because we need it. <sighs> Let's get moving before we get soaked. Might have to hit a couple daytime spots. Burr! Might have to put on my rain gear before it rains. Otherwise, I'm gonna freeze to death. Not literally, it's a joke. This one definitely got hit at some point in time. I ran off like 50 feet of line. <laughs> and I slept through it all. It's been known to happen. I'm sure it won't be the last time it happens. Feet are dry. Small victories, even though it's going to pour and then they won't be. Let's go hit a couple spots real quick. Surprise, the weatherman was wrong. Here comes the rain. Probably give this 10 minutes and start paddling her in. Well, now the rain's really coming down, so I think it's time to call it, but I feel like we made lemon out of lemonades or maybe lemonade out of lemons. I don't know. Caught some fish and ended up being a pretty nice night so thanks for taking time to watch it means a lot it means a ton for real it's pretty cool and i appreciate the heck out of it i hope you enjoyed it and if you did hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button if you want to check out my podcast that's linked in the description as well as all my tackle and, and such thanks again hope you catch a giant